Hey guys, Andy Tran here with the Inner Bark Outdoors channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. I try and do weekly videos on the outdoor survival, do it yourself and reviews. And this is a installment video from the cabin. So uh, last year we decided to buy a cabin and we've been working pretty hard getting it, you know, off grid ready. So essentially what we had was a shed that was insulated. And so part of the big project to get this up and running and make it self-sufficient was to give it some solar panels. And so I found these solar panels in Seattle. They're brand new, never mounted, still in the crate. Hello. So we just made a trip down to the big old city. And on our way here, we picked up six solar panels. So these, uh, these panels, we got them for 200 bucks a piece and they pump out 300 watts. So that's like 66 cents a watt. And got them from this dude that bought a whole bunch of panels hoping to go and outfit his home in Seattle. Well, thank God the bureaucracy in Seattle is what it is because uh, the inspector pretty much scared the shit out of him. And he was like, I ain't doing this shit. So got these for a good deal. And originally I was gonna go to wholesalesolar.com to get it. But after the freight shipping and the taxes, it ended up uh, being about a dollar per watt. So I'm saving like 33% for going with that. Um, but what we decided to do, because the, the eaves of the roof are east and west, uh, we didn't have a good mounting platform for it. So what I decided to do was build myself an awning so that it was facing directly south so I'd get the most sun. So in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how I did that and let you guys know um, anything during the, the process that I definitely would have done differently. I'm gonna show you a little bit more about the construction of this thing. So we put in two ledger boards, one at the bottom and then one at the top. And then these are tied into the actual uh, studs that are inside the wall. So this thing all together is really, really strong. And then we tied these together with uh, joist hangers. And I think these are stair hangers. But um, so they're connected by that. So these are connected pretty solidly to that. And then to create the triangle, we only built two sides of each triangle. And then these are tied together with these metal plates with ample number of screws into each one of these. So before I put the panels up, I was able to do full on pull-ups with these things. And so um, they're pretty strong. Each panel gets like three and a half of these hangers. So I'm not, I'm not anticipating snow load being a huge thing on these things because it's a 45 degree angle. They're probably gonna uh, slough off. Um, for aesthetic purposes, we decided to paint these. They don't need to be painted because they're treated wood, but um, we just wanted to match the siding of the cabin itself. And then for these railings, because I didn't feel like spending hundreds of dollars on dedicated solar panel rails, um, I went and bought two by one C channel aluminum. Uh, I got it at a local steel shop and they were able to take uh, two 16 foot pieces for the long ones and then a 16 foot piece cut in half. And since this whole thing is 24 feet long, uh, that adds up to 24 feet. To get these mounted onto the wood itself, we just use lag bolts with some washers. Um, nothing too crazy there. And then to mount the actual uh, solar panels to the rail, they had already pre-existing holes in the frame of the solar panels. We just lined those holes up with uh, the rails, drilled into the rails themselves, and then used stainless steel uh, washers, uh, bolts, and, uh, and locking nuts. So everything is pretty, pretty solidly in there. I'm pretty excited about it. And overall, I think this is a pretty decent mounting solution, especially for the price. So that is the installment of the solar awning. We'll be doing another video where I go into wiring the whole thing together to the charge controller, inverter, and then throughout the whole cabin, because we'll have some outlets throughout and then also some lighting as well. Uh, but that kind of warrants its own video. Uh, we are planning on putting two more solar panels at the edge of the roof there, but um, that's gonna be for the springtime. But for right now, this is what we got and I'm pretty happy with it. So cost for materials for the rails and the awning was about 200 bucks. As it is right now, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, we just have to wire it up and then we'll be good to go. And I can put away my generator for good. 
Uh, if you guys have any comments or questions, go ahead and message me directly or comment down below. If you guys enjoy the video, please like, share, and subscribe, and also check out my Facebook page, Instagram, and other social media. It really helps me know these are the kind of views you want to see. But as always, take care out there. Bye.